Hey guys, Coach Katie here to tell you about your weekly workout during this quarantine. The fitness exercise routine that I have chosen for this week is a Tabata workout, which is T-A-B-A-T-A. -A -A. So a funny word, maybe you haven't heard of it before. Um, basically what this is, is you get to choose um, how much time you are going to do your workout, um, but you will be doing... 20 seconds of the exercise and then 10 minutes or 10 seconds rest and then do another 20 seconds and 10 seconds rest and then you move on to the next exercise. So you can choose as many exercises as you want as well as how long you do it as long as you are doing that 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off. So for example, I'm actually going to be doing a workout with a chair today. So I'm going to be doing four different exercises. That's how many I chose. Okay, I'm going to do it for eight minutes. So not very long because it's a high intensity workout where I'm constantly um, exercising with only that 10 seconds rest in between. Okay, so my first one that I'm going to do, like I said, for that first minute, I'm going to be doing 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, then do another 20 seconds, 10 seconds rest, then move on to the second exercise, do that for a minute, move on to the third, do that for a minute, move on to the fourth, do that for a minute, and then now I'm starting to repeat for another four minutes, which will complete that eight minutes altogether. Okay, so for my chair exercises that I've chosen today, I am going to be doing uh, chair step-ups, I'm going to be doing an inclined push-up, as well as uh, chair dips, tricep dips, and then I'm going to do some inclined mountain climbers. So I've got some cardio as well as some strength training. Um, I know a lot of you do not have equipment at home, so here is a way that you can use something to work on that strength training, um, but also getting a little different than just using that body weight. Okay, so I'll show you each exercise and break them down as we go here. So the first one that I've chosen is that incline push-up. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my chair, put my hands on the side of the chair or at the front of the chair with my thumbs underneath. Make sure that it's a stable chair so it's not wobbly, okay? Um, otherwise, you could probably hurt yourself. So from here, I'm gonna make sure that my feet are out behind me and I'm on my toes. I'm not inclined with my bum in the air, making sure I'm staying flat. And then I'm going to go down like a regular push-up and come back up. So same thing as a ground push-up, just have that incline with the chair. Okay, so a couple examples. And that is your incline push-up. Okay, the second one that I've chosen, okay, was a chair step-up. So I'm going to make sure, like I said, that the chair is nice and stable. So I'm going to be able to step up and step down. I'm going to go up on the chair, one foot at a time, back down, okay, one at a time, okay, for that first 20 seconds, I will do one foot to start, the second 20 seconds, I'll start with the other side, okay, for example, okay, and then that second 20 seconds, I'll start with the, the other side. So now for my third exercise, I'm going to do a mountain climber, an incline mountain climber. So I'm going to do the same thing with my hands as I did with the incline push-up. I'm going to have it at the front here or I can do it at the sides. And I'm going to have my back flat, my feet behind me. And I'm going to bring my knees to my chest one at a time, but also not doing it very slow, trying to keep that intensity up. For example, okay, and then for my last exercise, I'm going to do dips. So hitting the triceps on each side, I'm going to turn around, put my hands on the sides of the chair, and I'm going to make an L shape with my, my legs, make sure I'm not too far down. I'm not too far up. I'm in that nice square position. 
Okay, my feet are about a foot apart. Then I'm gonna go down. So I'm just a couple inches off the ground, back up. For example, okay, to make it harder on yourself, you can put your feet further out, okay? So then you're usually mainly your arms. Okay, so that was a challenge booster. Um, and you can do that with any of them. If you have a strong enough chair, instead of doing those step ups, you actually probably do a chair jump. Um, mine is probably not sturdy enough, so I'm not gonna show that. Okay, so like I said, you'll start with the first exercise, do that for 20 seconds, rest for 10. Continue with that first exercise, another 20 seconds, rest for 10, move on to the next exercise. You don't have to pick eight minutes. You can pick any amount if you wanna do that longer. But because it's high intensity, that, that eight minutes actually feels like a lot. So you can choose wherever you're at, whether you wanna start with a small amount or go ahead and increase it to 10 minutes, 15 minutes, up to 20 minutes. Um, so that is the explanation of a Tabata workout. You can do any type of exercises that you want with it as long as you're doing that 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So hopefully that will help. Um, there um, are many different things that you can use at home for your workout. Like I said, I'm using the chair today. Hopefully I can give some more examples of things that you might have at home that you can use as weights. Just for example, for today, um, if you wanna do stuff with your arms, you could use um, detergent bottles, water bottles, canned goods. Um, you can also use uh, bagged beans or rice. Um, there's a lot of different things. So hopefully I can give you guys some more examples that you can use as weights. So then you can start working on that strength training. All right, good luck. Tell me how it goes.